I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Nature Below G, often imitated, never duplicated. Breaking you the best on feeds in the game. Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the hell of that notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the stuff that I got coming on with the videos. Yo, I'm already gonna let you know. Stuff is about to get crazy. So today is Thursday, and know something? This is some things. Look, y'all got all these ideas that I be coming up with the channel, and yo, this is what it is. Since it's Thursday, you already got like Throwback Thursday. So why not have it with the sneaker channel? Today we're definitely gonna go back. We're gonna go ahead and dig in the crates. Shout out to all my DJs. And I'm gonna bring up something. Now this shoe right here, it's not a new cop. Cause I've had the shoe before and I had the shoe back when I first started collecting. But I wasn't really collecting sneakers. Actually, I had the yo, it's it's a lot, yo. I had the shoe, I used to have the shoe, I bought this shoe like three or four times. Oh, uh, yo, it's dope, man. And I'm wondering, can you guys guess what it is? I didn't even write down the name of uh, what the shoe is. It's inside the thumbnail. Um, but this joint right here is fire. Yo, let, let's go ahead and get it to you. I got this joint right here. Boom! OG box. Off top. OG box. Can you guess what's in this joint? You know what I mean? I give you a hint. Yo, these joints came out in 2008. 2008 kit, you know what I'm saying? OG box. Um, inside my quarantine pickup video, I said, yo, if somebody can figure out what's inside this box, I will let you know. Um, I'm gonna do another video like right after this one, or I'll go on my Instagram right before this box comes, right before this video comes out. If somebody guessed correctly what it is, then they'll be the winner. If nobody guessed, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? A giveaway that I don't have to give away. It is what it is. Like it is a Jordan one. That's the only hint that I will give. But anyway, let's stop talking about the box. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. It's these joints right here. Boom! Yo, 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 yo. You probably don't even know about these, or maybe you do. This Jordan one is a premium Jordan 1. It's a laser Jordan 1. It came out in 2008. Actually, when it came out, they actually came out alongside this shoe. They happened to be retro. And I just wonder, why wasn't this one retro, but the other one was? This is the shoe that was retro around that time. Hold up. Boom! The, the Jordan 1 High Gucci Premium. This shoe originally came out in 2008. It was, was re-retroed again. Let me see if I can see the date that it was uh, retro. This is one of my favorite shoes. Um, so 7-10-2013, so I'm guessing that this one was actually re-retroed in 2013. Obviously it came out in 2008, um, but they didn't come out with the laser joint, so I just ended up buying it off of StockX. End up getting it for a decent price, let me put this one down. End up getting this joint for a decent price again, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead, take it to the table, and we can get up close and personal with the details of the shoe. Why was it a shoe that I had to go back and cop, and you know what I mean? And what makes this shoe so special to me? So, let's go ahead and talk about it. You gotta get up close and personal with this joint. Let's go! Boom! Look at these joints right here. So, this is the Jordan 1 High Ultra Premium. Let me actually read what it says on the box. So that you guys can know the official name of the shoe. Alright, so it is a Jordan 1 Retro High Premiere. Anyway, that's what the shoe is. Anyway. So let's go ahead, get into the shoe. Let's go ahead and look at the details of the shoe. So obviously it's a laser Jordan 1. Now they don't have too many laser Jordan 1s out. It's only a few that I know of. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there's two pairs. Anyway, so let's look at the detailing of the laser, right? I remember when laser was like a really big thing and I always wanted a pair of laser shoes because I couldn't get those Air Force Ones that was laser. So I ended up getting these joints right. Super dope. The uh, Jumpman here, it is like a bubble Jumpman so you know I know people would have hella problems with that if it did come out again because nobody likes this like bubble piece right here. Maybe that's why it wasn't hype. When I say the p materials on here are like really good, this is really good quality leather. You know what I mean? Out here you ha do have that laser it has like, I don't know if that's like suede or something. So it's like laser and suede. So it's not all the way laser. Got that laser print right here on the toe box. This is dope. This actually reminds me of the wood that's inside Trophy Room. Um, in Trophy Room, they have like this big beam and it was lasered. I can't remember the name of the guy who actually did the lasering. 
uh, for that right here. So if you look inside the shoe, it definitely has like velvet. So that's like a velvet lining, like a black velvet lining inside. You do have that jump man right there, like a little tag right there. Um, let's see. On the front of the tongue, you do have uh, Air Jordan, so it does not say Nike Air, you know what I mean? But the materials are super fire to me. White sole right here, black gum right here. I mean, not black gum, gum sole. You know what I'm trying to say, man. Yo, these are like so fire to me. And that's what I mean, man. When it's talking about just getting things that you like, you know, this is one of those situations that I definitely do like. Let's go ahead, take it, uh, to the on feet man so you guys can see what these joints look like on feet and let me know is this worthy you know what i'm saying was this a worthy cop you know what i'm saying for the first throwback thursday 2008 joints extra clean this is my first time ordering something from stock x from that long ago i'm not mad at it also got that jump man on the back right there on the back of the shoe you know what i mean what's this oh yeah these joints been sitting in the box for a while man i don't even know what that crash that crap was but anyway let's go ahead Take these things on feet. Let's go. So I've been looking for this female. So I had to get that email. Went further in the detail. She pulled up in the CL. I'm in that 650 though. I told her, look, come get me though. You might can't be my man, girl. You can smoke something with me though. This might not be your first drugs. I might not be your first love. That's Chanel on your purse, huh? Oh, you need to ride to work, huh? Them little shorts with the booty out. Oh, it's looking like a movie now. Oh, I think she wanna do me now. We did it big in the jacuzzi. That's how it sound when it skied it out. And then she asked if I could eat it out. I'm the nigga of the year, baby. Fuck who you been reading about. No disrespect to any nigga. But I ain't in debt to any nigga. I fly jetting to any nigga. <laughs> I know you niggas hear me, nigga. Be happy, get your money, yeah. You doing shows, fucking honeys, yeah. And videos, count hundreds, yeah. Ain't this everything you wanted, yeah. Ain't this everything? So, are you guys feeling that on feet of these laser situations, man? Are you guys really rocking with them? Like me, personally, I think this shoe is a dope shoe. The only time I can remember a uh, Jordan brand actually coming out with a laser Jordan 1 would be these shoes right here. This joint. I can't actually remember the year. Let me see if I can focus that up. I can't remember the year that these actually released, but this is like a 30th anniversary shoe. Um, it's a laser Jordan 1, but obviously the materials and quality of the shoe is totally different. Yo, I beat these situations up, man. I gotta, I gotta clean, I gotta start cleaning my shoes, man. Anyway, this is an OD but a goodie to me. I really love the gray and the silver, but we're not talking about these. We're talking about these joints right here. Boom. One of the favorite, one of my favorite shoes from back in the day, yo. Like, like I said, man, I'm so happy I went and picked this joint up. And with it being uh, more than 10 years old, the shoe actually came out in 2008. Right now it's 2020, so I believe that's like 11 or 12 years. 8 plus 10. Yeah, the shoe is 12 years old, right? The shoe is 12 years old, and it still looks right. No, like, browning or off-whiting on that sole. You know, the materials are still great if you really look at that. You know, it is what it is. The only thing that I saw that was an issue was like the bubble here. Let me see if I can focus that in on that bubble. Like the bubble, it had some like some 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 discoloration or whatever. But I just rubbed it and it 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 came off. You know what I'm talking about? Focusing it back on me. You know what I'm saying? It definitely just came off. So like, yo, I rock with this situation, man. This joint is fire to me. You know what I mean? But I would like to know your opinion. Leave your comment down below. Are you rocking with these? This throwback joint. It was this throwback Thursday trash. Let me know. And let me know if you would like to continue seeing things like this. You know what I'm saying? Doing the throwback Thursday. Digging deep inside the collection. And talking about some of those older kicks. Some of that older fire that you got still in your collection. Some of those prized possessions that you can't let go. Yo. Again, thanks for rocking with me. I do appreciate you guys. You know we can't leave without positive feedback. And also, y'all know we're doing a giveaway, right? 
I am doing a Travis Scott Jordan 1 giveaway. Once we reach 2,000 subscribers, I will be giving those shoes away. I don't talk about it as much, so I need to talk about it more and more and more so that you know. And I already know it's the end of the video. Maybe I should start talking about that in the beginning of the video. Gotta think. Gotta think, my brother. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Positive feedback that I'm gonna leave you guys with is this joint right here. All right, so I think this is a good one. Yo, so a lot of people say, people hate when things change, right? You're always like, man, you change. Man, this changed. Uh, I wish things were like the old way. Uh, pertaining to shoes. Uh, man, I wish they made the Jordans how they used to make them. Man, I, why they don't, they, why can't they go back to doing things how they used to? You know something, in life, me personally, and I, I know this by experience, you know, uh, change is inevitable. Everything's gonna change. Whatever happens in your life, things have to change, right? Things have to change. But growth is optional, right? So while everything is changing around you, you have to grow with the change. You know what I'm saying? Growth is optional. Either you could be that person stuck and living in the past, talking about the past and not changing with the times and growing, you know, growing and being able to adapt with those changes. Or you're just gonna be that person just like stuck in the past, just like still talking about what was happening when Jordan had the Jordan 1s in 1985. Bro, it's, it's 2020 right now, you know what I'm saying? You gotta change, man, you gotta grow. You have to grow, you know what I'm saying? That part. Now that was a good one, you feel me? That was a good one. Anyway, thank you guys for rocking with me. I do appreciate you guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subscribing. Thanks for all that stuff that you guys do. I'll have you guys next time with another video. That's it. Peace.